Hi guys, it's me, Canada from Not So Nature, and today we are doing a, um, after, actually, after much, after a long time of not doing it, I am doing another fan fiction review, and this is, a, a basically, it's sort of like a one-shot, it's just two chapters, it's pretty simple, I thought, you know, it'd be a nice, easy story to get back into, so, um, yeah, it's called Searching the, Cr the Crystal Butterflies by... Rokon one. Um, it's spelled R A K O O N and the number one. So I think it's Rokon one. I could be wrong about that, and if I am, I'm sorry. So basically, the story. It's a pretty simple one. It starts off with Rarity looking at this book called the Mysterious Places, um, and it's basically mysterious places of Equestria, and she ends up causing coming across something called the Crystal Butterfly. And it's these butterflies that I guess are sort of crystallized because they're from the Crystal Empire. And she wants, to, and apparently they've been missing for, well, ever since King Sombra came into rule, they fled the Crystal Empire. And you know, I guess that makes sense, you know, something disturbs their home, they're going to fly away. And apparently they've been missing for, like, since then, since I guess over a thousand years, I guess I could say. I forgot when that whole timeline was. Um, so she decides that she's going to look for it because what it is is their cocoons can be made into silk and stuff like that, beautiful crystal silk and stuff, and she would love to use that for her line. So she decides that she's going to look for it, but of course she needs help, so she decides, instead, of, first she decides that she's going to take Twilight, but she thought, you know, and how about instead of Twilight, I take the best animal person that she could think of. I don't know how to define Fluttershy, but, um, and that is, um, Fluttershy, as I said. And so she goes and talks to Fluttershy. She says that, hey, would you like to help me search for these, uh, mysterious, um, crystal butterflies? And right then, Fluttershy gets all excited and says yes. But before even, I think before even Rarity uh, even says where it's at, and it's in the, it's beyond, I think, the Smoky Mountains. And I don't know where that is in terms of the, of terms of the map of Equestria, but, um, yeah, and so, Flosha hasn't, well, of course, nervous about that, but she, of course, disagree, di agrees to it, and they end up going to, um, look for, or I think the first up, I kind of skimmed over the story because it was an easy story. It's actually a story I've already read, and I sort of know the general plot of it. So they decide that, I think they head to the Crystal Empire, and then once they get there, they go beyond the Crystal Empires, and they go to these um, mountains, and, and basically they sort of end up finding the butterflies pretty quickly, um, and basically the rest of the story is them trying to convince the butterflies to come with them, and of course, they, the butterflies are like, you know, they're, they're, they don't want to, because of course Fluttershy is talking to them, and they don't want to go, they don't want to leave their home and everything, and, you know, they're also afraid of, you know, what happened, and they've also, not only that, they've gotten used to their pattern of migration, is changed since then, so they've gotten used to the sudden new migration after the, oh, over the thousand years, so they don't want to leave it. But of course, Rarity mentions something called the Oasis Heart, or the basically the Crystal Heart, I think is what they're referring to. They call it the Oasis Heart, but I think what they're referring to is the Crystal Heart. I am not sure. I could be wrong. Um, it was obviously a confusing thing already to be talking all that, but um, yeah, and once they butterflies see that, they decided and they were ready to go. And as sort of, um, a thank you to the, them, they offer the cocoons of some of the butterflies that have already basically come out of their cocoons, and the, basically it's just the husk of the cocoon that, you know, the butterflies were in, and as a thank you, they offer them to Rarity and Fluttershy, and basically fills up two saddlebags worth of cocoons, a lot of cocoons that they had, and it basically, you know, it ends with them going home, the, uh, Cadence thanks Rarity and the, and Fluttershy for bringing back the crystal butterflies, and she starts making the crystal, uh, crystal silk and stuff like that, 
So that's basically the entire story. Once again, it's a sort of sweet, simple story. It very much reminds me of one of, of one of the episodes. It's super short. I mean, if this basically wasn't, an, this could basically be. If this was animated, it could probably be the same length as an episode because it is relatively short. I mean, there'd probably be some more stuff added on there, but it's pretty, pretty rel relatively simple. Um. So yeah, once again, it's a really good story. Um, it's uh, it's it's a really good story to read, and it's, it's kind of sweet. You know, they go out, and I like how she goes and asks uh, Fluttershy because you know it makes sense to go ask Fluttershy because she can, of course, speak to animals. And um, I don't think they actually go into the crystal library to look at them. If I remember correctly, they don't do that. But I could be wrong. Once again, I did skim over the story, but I don't think they did that, which it's kind of shame because that would make sense for them to go to the library to see more research on them. But, um, I could be wrong. I did skim over it, but, um, yeah. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I'm sorry that I have not been doing a lot of fan fiction. Um, I know my last video that I did was sort of a, um, I don't know how you would call it, a video basically discussing what, what it would be if uh, the main six were in in a Pokemon setting, and I'm actually going to be finishing that. I want to finish that because, um, I'm curious of what the, <laughs> the other main six were. Um, and also, I will be doing a couple more videos this time after this, so if in those later videos I sound sort of, you know, winded and stuff, that's because I'm doing later some more videos today. So, um, yeah, and I hope you guys really did enjoy this. Once again, the story is called the Searching the Crystal Butterflies by Rook and One, and you guys can go check that out on Fiction. Um, so yeah, I'm Canada, and goodbye for now.